tend to take a Chef Gusteau approach to PC building, but popular streamer XQC is challenging my beliefs. I've tried everything from responding to him via video, to popping into his stream with tech tips, to coaching him over the phone. At this point, anyone else would give up, but not me, which is why I am at the airport. After his latest build attempt resulted in a PC that was crashing during his stream, I sprang into action. That's right, when I land, the first thing I'm gonna do is get in a car, drive to his house, and give him some tech tips in person so that hopefully no one will ever have to watch him do this. It's gonna break. Or this. Dude, it can't mount, it's too big. Or this. It literally just doesn't fit. Ever again. And it's brought to you by our sponsor, Micro Center, because we are gonna need some hardware. February is build your own month at Micro Center with great deals all month long. Stay tuned to learn more at the end of this video. It's been an hour since we landed. We've got our car and we've arrived at Micro Center, but we haven't heard back from XQC. So at this point, we don't have enough time to go to him, figure out what's wrong, come here and shop, and then go back. They're gonna be closed. So our only option is to kind of just get one of everything that he had in case something was broken and then bring it there. They have changed the layout of this place a lot. I am standing in what used to be like SSDs and RAM and GPUs land. He's probably got a working cooler, right? I would think so. This seems to be all more valuable. Oh, oh my God, how am I supposed to get that? As a short person, I feel personally attacked right now. I usually keep my GPUs in the freezer too. This is the cold aisle. Realistically, the guy's got no budget, so I assume we're just going 4090 here. I wonder whose money I'm spending right now. Really hope it isn't mine. He had to unlock two locks to get the GPU. There's no way lockpicking lawyer could defeat this. 17950X, please. There you go. Perfect. And then a kit of RAM. Does he need more than 32 gigs of RAM? Like, he has 128? Yeah. AM5 can hardly handle two sticks of RAM, let alone four. Micro Center's like covering this, right? Yeah, I hope so. We've got a new power supply, RAM, GPU, motherboard, CPU, probably not the SSD. Let's grab one just to get, we can't come back. So we're gonna get an SSD too. So tell me something, Razor. If I work at Razor and I like stop gaming, do I get fired? Do you guys need anything else today? I don't know, do you carry our screwdriver yet? I have one in my car. That doesn't count. <laughs> and we're good. We've got everything we could possibly need. He couldn't possibly have screwed it up worse than what we can fix. Uh, is there any wood I can knock on? In and out in only half an hour, but we haven't heard from XQC. So the good news is I got his address ahead of time, which means I guess we're just gonna show up. You know, Andy, it occurs to me, he's probably not answering because he's probably freaking live right now. Benchmark will crash the streamer. No, 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 chat. Benchmark is dangerous. It will really crash the streamer. Okay, well that explains why he doesn't answer my messages. So I guess we're just gonna show up in the middle of the stream Hopefully that was the plan. <laughs> okay. Well, we tried dropping a message in the chat. We'll see if they managed to get his attention. Let him know we're on our way, but. Wait, 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 what did I say? Is he over? Well, at least he knows we're coming now. <laughs> I love your networking setup, by the way. Oh, legitimately? This is tremendous. It's good. So if you're running, it's a hazard. If you're walking, it's not. Look, the truth is, I'd rather see a crappy cable than good wireless. Yeah, well, welcome to the office. What's <laughs> up? All right, where's the broken computer at? This one right here, okay. It's broken. Can you explain to me what's broken about it? Cause all I saw was you tweeting, oh my God, my computer's broken again. Basically, I think that the, the motherboard is fried. You think the motherboard is fried? How about you make a bet? Okay. How about, how about 100 bucks, motherboard's fried? How about 100 bucks, it's not just snot on all of those uh, tissue papers? <laughs> I that. I, okay, I'm not gonna bet on that. That's unfair. Ah, I got him. No. So you're pretty sure it's the motherboard? Yeah. Okay, that's good because I brought a spare motherboard just in case. So I built this computer. Yes. It, the software was all Intel stuff. Then I swapped to a AMD system. Yes, okay. And I was kinda lazy. I just said, I'm just gonna plug it straight in. All the software. And just use SSD, just plug it, plug and play. So then I launched the computer and everything starts jamming. The booting is janky. Finding Windows, is, everything is, is not working properly. <laughs> what happens then is um, uh, every time I boot, it's really slow, but I get, I, I get it to work. But then I'm like, let's well, just full reset. By reset, you mean like new Windows install, everything? Full re reinstall, right? Okay. So I full reset the computer, but then 
I went to PC, we see like it's like error 9E, 46, 98, 46, 98, 56, okay. shoot, five. It just keeps cycling. Okay, tell me something. I say it's the RAM. Yeah. What do you want to bet? I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a Benji, I'll, I'll give you 100. Shake on it, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And the reason that I say it's the RAM mm -hmm. is that right now, AM5 is a very new platform. And this is AMD's first generation DDR5 memory controller. And I think, I think you have 128 gigs of RAM. Yes, then. Okay. I did not. Uh oh, he didn't give me all the information. It was bad from the get go. I took half the sticks out. Uh oh. Because that was my theory. And even afterwards, when everything was installed and it was running properly, if the okay. computer crashed or, or, or I restarted it, long time to boot, it's cycling 98, 45, 46, 98, 1. Yeah, okay. And then the next day, I used the, 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 the capture card. You know what capture card is? Yeah, yeah. The computer just goes, and it's just dead. And then it says USB uh, overcurrent. I remember you mentioned that yeah. before. Okay. It, it says overcurrent. I don't know what that means. I checked back USBs, yeah. top ones. I unplugged all the USBs directly from the MOBO and the case itself. Nothing was working. I didn't get a singular good boot ever. Even if I didn't have all the information, I'm still going to honor the bet because I'd love to have something on the line. And I guess the next order of business for us is to get this thing set up so I can actually observe some of this behavior. I'm going to use my magic tech tips fingers and I'm just going to go to turn it on and it's just going to turn on and work perfectly. And then I'm going to come down here for nothing. Sorry, I'm just talking to your chat. That, that, I, hope that's cool. I love that. Where, where, oh, where do you want my Bob. spot to be? Bob, yeah, Bob. I like this guy. Let's but go. Yeah, Come everything on. It, Whoa, he doesn't have water, no water in the bottom. There's, there's no water, water in the bottom. Yeah, there's a, there's a drought uh, here, right? There's always a drought here. Uh, yes. I just assume there's a drought here. Yeah, is this uh, is this HDMI only? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that's very unusual. I got both. I got both. Don't worry about it. Okay, since you have a platform, I can use it um, to, to ramble. Okay, what is it with new GPUs and no um, HDMI ports? Yeah, it's still kind of lame to buy like a $3,000 or $2,000 uh, piece of hardware and like the most normal HDMI port doesn't work on it. You got an Ethernet cable by any chance? Oh, what's up? Ethernet cable. Um, yes. I'm gonna have to steal some network. Are you bringing another monitor? Yeah, because it's the slip ports. Oh, here's a DP cable. Hello. All right. I'm gonna need a power cable as well. Uh, I think I have one. It's under my desk somewhere. Okay. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I forget. It's a Jumbo Bumbo one. Okay. Heck yeah, let's, okay. let's see if it uh, fires up for me here. Buddy? Yeah. Oh, well, it helps to plug this into the wall. So, oh. Yeah, yeah unplug this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, might need to lose some. A little bit less here. festivity, but more power. I mean, it's not really holiday season anymore, so I guess that's probably okay. So we had a little flicker there. Yeah, all right. Maybe you want to take a look at the error code? 15 orange. Okay, and it's, it's always good. orange. Uh, I do want to open this up just so we can... See, now this is zero, zero. Yeah, let's change your numbers. So zero, zero could be a bad mount on the CPU. By the way, this is the uh, screwdriver you refused to let me send you. Ooh, okay, it's something. It's not cheap at all. It's actually a good product. Well, look at that. And I remember, it reminds me of the Valorant Spike. Have you ever seen Valorant Spike before? <laughs> Chad, it's not looking like the Spike. And then this is our new Linus sized one that's coming. This one's 3D oh, printed. Oh, it's more my size. But if you're into like uh, a like little space or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, PC yeah, yeah. building. And instead of uh, going like this, yeah. going sideways, I've done a lot of that. So we're just gonna use the onboard GPU. This could still be bad RAM, but this could be as simple as I just need to pop that CPU out, put it back in, and we're ready to rock. Okay, it makes sense, yeah. If what's wrong with it is like kind of a loose connection, mm -hmm. then that would explain kind of the flakiness that you're describing, where oh. eventually it boots. We had an AMD server, and this is wild. Wouldn't work every time. Yeah. And then you'd just like leave it there, like trying to boot for 15, 20 minutes, yeah. and it would turn on. Because the thermal expansion, as it heated oh. up, made the pins make contact. Ah! Right, you know what you think of? Uh, the Xbox were a ring of death, remember that? But yes. The rings, right? Well, you would put towels on the Xbox and boot it up, and you would wait till the thermal paste melted a little bit, right? And reapplied so it would actually boot properly. Ooh. So there we go. We, we were agree. sitting at 15 for a while. We're still getting this USB device overcurrent status detected. Now, when he told me about this, I went, well, the troubleshooting step for this is quite straightforward. What you need to do is you need to start unplugging a... Wait, what? It always did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what the hell? That was, well, that I was did, very uh, well, loose. Well, well, it was loose because it's unplugged. I unplugged all of them one by one. I unplugged everything into the overcurrent. And I, was, and I was thinking, if the only motherboard is in and it's saying that, it's going to be busted. Okay. It's got to be. Now, it can be a busted controller. And then he's right, or at least partially right, because it could be more than one thing. Those are the nightmare troubleshooting scenarios when you've got two problems that can kind of mask each other or stack on top of each Makes other. Sense. 
Wait, what the hell? You what see this it? USB header? Yes, I see it. It just has like a daisy chain running off it of it. It does. And th th this should have a cover on it. If this was just sitting grounded on something, it could be shorting. I didn't, plug it in, so I didn't plug it in at all. Mind you, if that was ever plugged into something else, yeah. then it could very well be that that might have fried the USB controller. Makes sense. Come on, side panel. You know what? Every time that I build a PC, I try to go like, since I'm a streamer and I don't want to deal with problems, I get a little bit overkill, right? But every time I get overkill, it's there's a compatibility problem, there's there's something with some of the hardware. You know what they say about the bleeding edge? No, I don't know what that means. Well, it cuts you. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna start with a motherboard swap. You've got some time, go chill with your chat, do your thing. Good. You do whatever you gotta do, because this is gonna be a little while. Man, I'm back to like my floor days. This is how I used to work on computers back before I owned a table. Okay, we got a lot of stickers in here. You did a good job with the stickers. The stickers, you like them? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Oh yeah, I love stickers. You did eventually end up getting this radiator in there. Oh, there it goes. You did get this radiator installed eventually, so that's good. The problem was the, uh, the actual mount itself for the, but we figured it out with a, with a DIY one or something. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. I mean, even the cable management, actually not that bad, you know? Really? Yeah, not that bad. There's actually one more thing that I want to try really quick. I want to do what's called a clear CMOS. So what you do is you pull your battery, or some boards will actually have a button for it. This is a really high-end board, I bet it does. So if there's a button you can just hold down, then that's so oh, convenient. So but maybe this right here? This one? I bing? Or not? Oh, uh, hold on. CMOS oh, battery's sorry. not Okay, in. I'm done. No more touching. <laughs> Not a lot of um, light in here. Is this kind of your your mood? Oh, the lighting? Yeah. I think this house was built in the 1700s. In the 1700s, okay. It came with the lights and never changed them. Yeah, it's so. good. Well, you think it's good. <laughs> lighting is terrible. I think this is gonna do exactly the same thing that it did before. You might actually be right. I think I'm gonna end up owing you a hundred bucks. It's not too hard. How about you, you walk us through all the things that can short or uh, burn your motherboard? So this overcurrent error is generally caused by some kind of short that causes the controller to malfunction. It can be that you just have USB devices, like, like if you've got too much USB on one thing, it'll kind of go, Ugh. it's not really a fuse, but it behaves like a fuse. It'll say like, hey, you're drawing too much here, bruh. But what's more likely here is actually that there was some kind of short. If the positive voltage and ground or really anything else, I guess, touched something metal at the same yeah. time with that thing that was hanging off there, it's possible that it would short out, which would cause current to just race through it. And then it might detect an overcurrent event every time. I can look at it a bit closer once I've got it out and we can see if we can find somewhere on the board with like a scorch burn. marks. Yeah, yeah, with a burn mark. But modern boards, they make them out of black PCBs now. It's, it's in here. It's good. Something also I've noticed. Motherboards have become like just kind of like finicky to work with. They just keep changing everything, making things weird. Maybe with like stickers and, and sticky and, and screws, not screws, like weird grace. What's up with that? It's half innovation and half marketing bull but it looks cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of, sure. I'm gonna get some socks, cause uh, I think I'm getting, a, a, you know, I'm gonna have my feet up there. So. Yeah, you do, do what you gotta do. I mean, I don't mind it. You heard no. it here first. Now, one of the things that can cause this USB overcurrent nonsense is if your IO shield has one of those little prongs for grounding, just sticking in and touching the pins. But this board has a built-in IO shield and I did have a look at it and there doesn't appear to be any kind of defect. All of the theories that I've had so far about what might be going on here, have not panned out. Technically speaking, could there be a possible short that isn't like visual? It just kind of happens at, at like a miniature scale? Yeah, it could just be, I mean, it's right? Like, it seems to happen to you a lot though, you know? <laughs> All right, let me just grab my replacement board. So you, did you pull your boot drive out of here? Look at you. Are you having fun with this? Oh yeah. All sticky and it leaves residue. It's, it's like one of those sticky things that, that leaves residue. If this wasn't there, putting this heat shield over top of it would actually make it run hotter. They made a problem, but at least they fixed the problem with this. Correct. You know, you're much smarter than the character you play on TV. Well, I mean, I, I, it, one of the first things we're gonna do is even though we are going full XQC style and building on the carpet here, we're gonna avoid putting the actual motherboard on the carpet. And I'm also just gonna make sure that I'm touching the chassis, which is connected to the power supply, which is connected to the wall. Okay, now one of the things we wanna do is wanna make sure this CPU is super clean, which it is. And I didn't see anything obvious in the socket on the old board that would lead me to believe that it wasn't uh, contacting properly. If I run into any trouble with the liquid cooler, I'm just gonna go straight to this because I know yeah. for sure we have the right mounts. Mm -hmm. And in terms of reliability, air cooling, man. 
Yeah. So unless there's like a chicken PC incident. Sometimes it'll happen like in the past, I've had uh, chicken PC, so I had, I had Chipotle, and dropped the chicken on the PC, and I was doing something at the time I was busy, and I forgot the chicken was there, and it, over time it cooked. And then, um... You promised me you won't spill chicken, squid, or coke in my computer, No right? chicken. Man, I really hope we don't like ruin this board or anything because that would be super awkward. I do not have a way to get another one tonight. Playing with this goo, the, like the the thing that they put in, and um, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, it just kind of dissipated. I thought I thought they would be able to play with it, but um, yeah, and I'm. I'm greasy. Chat, look at this. The main thing here is we're just gonna go slow and steady wins the race. This is a simple operation, board swap. I'm just gonna put this motherboard in. We're gonna run off the onboard audio. That's it. Put like two screws in. Just a little bit of light might be nice, but uh, oh yeah, there we go. Although I got these, these lights, like, like Tom Raider. Oh, like Tomb Raider. Oh yeah, Tomb yeah. Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah. To I mean, Tom Raider is like the male version with Tom, oh, Tom Croft. Oh. All right, we're at the stage now where we can run a quick test and just see if we get the same error. If the hardware is possessed, yep. if it makes no sense at all, yep. it's the power supply. Okay. Okay. 15, our old friend is back. It will probably power cycle once. Uh, it's probably memory training. Uh, yes. Anytime you have a new board, it'll do that, memory training. Oh. Okay, new CPU installed. Oh, is this an error you recognize? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is normal. This just means we have a new CPU in the system, no problem. It wouldn't. Yes. This is farther than the computer's been since the problem happened. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's that's progress. Okay, progress then. I love this, repping the red dragon, man. These guys have freaking taken over. They, they were in Micro Center today. Really? Yeah, not that long ago. These were like a weird online only brand, right? These guys, yeah, these guys are freaking everywhere. They have some good stuff. They have some that's just absolute garbage. Um, it's this kind of all over dramatic. the place. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I don't, I, okay, no touch. <laughs> it's about updating the BIOS right now. Then I'm gonna connect something to the keyboard and then you're gonna touch that. Uh, you're gonna f up the whole thing. <laughs> don't no. f up my motherboard. I will not. We don't have a USB overcurrent error anymore. So it does seem like you were right, but joke's on you because I don't carry American money. No, so uh, you. you're, you're getting a hundred Canadian dollars. Oh, utterly worthless. Good luck spending it. I was half right, but I'll take the money. Yeah, well, okay. Hey. Also, also, it smells good. I can still be right too. Oh, well, I mean, just on you, I don't carry cash of any kind. Even if you won, I would have probably been like, you know, you got Venmo, PayPal, like that, or I could just scam you, or one of the other. <laughs> before, I've never had a boot under five minutes. It had never happened before. That's weird. That's not right. Oh, there you go. Hey, all right. Okay, we're gonna kick things up a notch. And we're gonna plug in a mouse. Is there a way to, like, dim the monitor a little bit more? Yes, sir. We're all the way down, Andy. That's as much as you get. Yep. Oh, s***. <laughs> so what was that? Did it reset? Yeah. Nothing's perfect. Just like Microsoft. Windows, it's not perfect, but it's darn perfect. it, they're doing their best. Uh, yeah. They can build some pretty crap stuff if they really set their mind to it. Teams, okay? Are you hitting on Teams? Oh. I love Teams. You like Teams. Yeah. Okay, how many people you got on Teams? Uh, zero. Where's it Bing? You use Bing? No. Oh. Bing is about to get amazing. Oh. And this I will bet you a thousand dollars. Oh man. You know how I know? You know ChatGPT? Microsoft has invested over a billion dollars in OpenAI. Oh, Bing wow. is going to be the shit. I only needed one piece of hardware? That's amazing. I mean, you bought a, why did you buy a GPU for? Oh, I didn't buy nothing. Micro Center was just like, oh, okay, you're doing a video, uh, blah, blah, sure, oh, whatever. Okay, yeah. And they, they, they loaded me up, man. This should be a fast restart. I'm banking on it. When you're streaming, you have 90 seconds to come back because your stream crashes. Yeah. And I could never meet it with this computer. This is why it was important that I get a fast boot. Well, so we should time it. Let's let it finish. Yeah. And then we'll time it. And we gotta beat 90 seconds. We can do that. Stream crashed. Now I am going to shut her down. Oh my God, this does not track on the carpet. I am hurting my chances here. I would be still, I'd be nervous if this happened to me. Yeah. So it's still, we're still on pace. Okay, sure. So this is, this is a fair test. We're at 11 seconds, 12. Oh my, oh, 40 seconds. Okay, that was, holy. 40 seconds, you want to reboot OBS again? Five, yeah. wait, what? Then I'd be logged in. The next thing I want to do is I want to shut it down and then I want to get everything hooked back up. Did you ever have the front USB-C working? Um, you know what, no. Okay, well that makes sense. Oh. Oh no. I think it was facing the wrong way. So if you went hard and tried to put that in there, 
Okay, can you see how all the little ends, you can see all the little pins sticking yeah. out of the little yeah. ends there? Mm -hmm. They're either crunched or they're burned. Oh my God, I see them. Yeah. The, oh, wow. You think that's it? I think that's it. So oh. I think what happened was you pushed on it and then those wires are probably shorted. And that's why I couldn't find it because I only looked at these ones down here because I was trying to chase down that red herring there. Oh, okay, yeah. The one that had the, the leads coming off because I thought maybe that's what shorted, but it was the USB type C connector. So we don't get to blame ASUS for your problems because you can see I had to bend it back the other way in order to put this in here. Yeah. We got it. I don't like mysteries. I don't like mystery problems because then if it's solved, but you don't know what you did, you, know you, don't, you don't know how to reproduce it and it could come back. There's not a lot of other wires I feel like that are, that are similar to that one. Is that one new? Is that a new thing? It's new? pretty new, yeah. Okay. Uh, now you, do you not hook up your reset switch? Is that a conscious decision? Cause you don't want to bump it? Uh, what's the reset switch? The reset switch is this one right here. It just hard resets okay, the yeah. system. So in terms of, of the little, little connectors, is it bing, bing, bang? I only did um, one square, one square, one rectangle. You had your power switch and your power LED plugged in. So would you like your reset switch and your drive activity LED? Because I'm here and I can do it really easily. No. You, you do not want them? No. Even the drive activity LED? No. I can plug. No. I was really worried that we were just gonna like come all the way out here and I'm gonna you go. Chance to show them the clip. Oh, okay. You wanna see something? Oh no. So My brother in Christ, GPU. what are you doing? The GB wouldn't go in and it worked out. If you don't have a Dremel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's called percussive maintenance. Oh, there's a word for that. Yeah. I found an extra thumb screw in the bottom of your case. That's what was rattling around before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, we've liberated that. No, I found it already. Yeah. I found it. Yeah, I didn't know you used it. You're using an old phone. Okay, so what GPU do you want to put in here? Um, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, suck you guys dry. Don't worry about it. Okay, well. Wait, he wouldn't even let me send him a screwdriver. Okay, fair enough. Well, you open the box already, so. Micro Center said goodbye to everything that I left the store with. Okay, well, a big thanks to, uh, uh, to the Micro Center for the, uh, uh, the GPU. We're very, very thankful that we can have a, a, a test PC that, well, I mean, we'll end up using it, but yeah. Whew! These GPUs though, right? They are massive. Is this ridiculous or what? Like you could kill a man. No, I, no, I, I, no. I would die, I would die. I'm impressed you were able to, to um, fit those in and actually plug them in without losing your mind. It took me about an hour and my hands were bleeding. I, had, I was bleeding. If you build a computer and you don't bleed a little, I don't know. Did you really build a computer? Uh, okay, where's my back panel at? You know what, no, that's bad GBs. Especially when you're tucking all the wires in and you're pushing them in. Yep, yep. Have you seen one of these videos with like, like the trains or whatever and you're putting people in? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna peel this. <sighs> Spicy card, love it. Hey, thanks, Micro Center. Uh, <laughs> yep. Do you keep your start menu in the center or do you move it over to the left? I'm more of a left guy, but now I'm, I'm learning to use this new thing, I guess, middle. Because you can move it. Oh. You want it on the left? Yeah. Okay, it's on because the left now. Sometimes you don't leak, you don't, you don't want to have like live leaks whenever you're streaming, right? <sighs> And it, there have been some incidents recently that have yeah, not yeah. gone over very well with that anyway, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I heard about that. I I don't, I've not heard about anything like that though. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know what you know anyone's talking about. What? Yeah. yeah. What? What? Sorry. What? Okay. So this is it. This is your one free one. Next time it's gonna cost you if I have to fly down here again. No chicken. Um. And no. No dragging on the ground and. I think, I think I'm think i good to leave it like that. Just plug it in and never touch it again. Just don't touch. Should we run at least one game just to make sure it like doesn't, you know, whatever? You know what? I'm gonna grab a quick application that's just gonna test a little bit of our temperatures and all that. Hardware info 64. It's gonna torture test. CPU 100%. No thermal throttling. This is what I like to see. What does that do? They open a bunch of, of like applications that are doing nothing? It's calculating uh, prime, prime numbers. Yeah, so it's got, there's other stuff like that. Like you can calculate pi to like, you know, hundreds oh. and thousands or millions of decimals and it'll just, it'll just flood your CPU with like calculations yeah. and help cause it to heat so up. you're busy mining, but nothing. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. This is a good looking game. It is a good looking game. What? It's actually stable 60. It's not really going down from 60 and it's like super harder quality. And don't forget, I cranked the render resolution. Yeah. Man, the, the physics of these like ladders falling apart. Okay, that's not how wood works. I mean, they look more like, you know, styrofoam or whatever, but yeah. still, it's kind of cool the way they fall apart. Yep. It gets warm in here. It does. I really like your acoustic um, treatment, by the way, in here. You've got oh, the, like, yeah. three pillows on that wall and then you got some mattresses over here with yeah. Skelly. This is a mattress right there. 
And there's there's a mattress behind the dock, which is which is great. Got your body pillow. Our CPU capped out at 85 during that test. I'm not worried about the CPU though. I want to see our GPU hit 56. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a hug. All yeah. right, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for Man, coming out. He's got to come down like this to hug me. Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's emasculating. Thank you very much thanks, for coming Andy. in and uh, filming everything. And thanks to our sponsor. Thanks, Micro Center, for sponsoring today's video. February is Build Your Own Month at Micro Center. They have month-long great savings to help you build a new PC. Whether you're a seasoned PC builder or a first-time shopper, Micro Center is there to help with their knowledgeable associates. They've got a great variety of products and even better prices, meaning that they can be your one-stop shop for all the tech you need. Laptops, computer components, monitors, TVs, networking equipment, you name it, they've got it. And if you want the customization of a DIY build, but you don't want the hassle of putting it together, for a small fee, Micro Center will have one of their trained associates do the work for you. You can even submit your build to their build showcase and get 25 bucks off your next in-store purchase. And if you're having any technical difficulties, they've got your back with their certified technicians at their knowledge bar. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the description box and check out Micro Center's build your own month long deals. You guys are pretty so easy to work with. Really, really chill. This was a blast. Yeah, hopefully thanks. we'll uh, hopefully we'll encounter each other again. We will. I mean, I know you don't travel much, but if you're ever in Vancouver, hit me up. We'll hang Wait, out. I might be at friends there. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. okay. 